Okay, uh, this video is going to show you how to set map source up so that patch map is optimized. Um, the uh, uh, things that you should realize is that until you uh, have uh, both patch map and another map set in there, like the uh, the uh, trip and waypoint manager uh, that comes with your GPS. Uh, you will not have this drop down. As soon as you do have two maps in there, the drop down will become available. Um, now, to optimize this, uh, there are a few settings that we like to uh, do under View. Go down to the Show Toolbars, and you'll notice not all of the not all of them are checked off. The easy way is to check off Show All Toolbars and now they are automatically displayed sometimes they're not all on one on one line but you'll notice a little vertical bar here on the edge of that and I can move it around so as an example if it had been down on this bottom uh, row on the second row I could just shift it up and if I sort of overlap it here just a little bit it will tuck it up nice and tight so now I've got all of the bar all the tools that I can possibly use apart from right clicking and uh, few little shortcuts uh, that you're ever going to need and they typically fit quite nicely on the top of, uh, of a screen if you notice uh, as you have as you hover on them it tells you what they're all for so this is pretty beneficial uh, when in doubt you can always go to the help menu and uh, and it has a pretty extensive help menu now the other things as you're probably found that it came preset to miles so we want to change uh, all the preferences so under edit preferences we have the ability to go in and change uh, um, the uh, all of the settings in there typically the display uh, tab is the one that's going to be active so the first thing to do is change the large under symbol size to small under units you're going to change these all to metric unless um, for instance uh, your pilot you want to keep this in feet the elevation and uh, perhaps uh, if you're farming you might want to keep the areas in acres uh, on, in the waypoint uh, typically uh, it's designed uh, or set preset so that it'll, the number of characters will go onto a handheld GPS but if you're using it uh, like most are um, uh, on the computer only I just make this big number 50 characters it gives you lots of room to make a nice long waypoint uh, name um, speaking of waypoints you can also categorize the waypoints and in this section here under the waypoint categories is where you can actually go in and change this to whatever you'd like it to be in uh, the routing tab uh, you can uh, you'd want to uncheck these avoidances because most of them do not apply to what we're doing Auto routing allows it to route down the routable roads. Use direct routes, of course, goes straight across country. The other function that we leverage is the driving speeds. Because we've got uh, several grades of roads in here, uh, you can change the driving speeds to whatever it is that you'd uh, deem to be appropriate for the conditions at hand. So that might be uh, different in the summer as opposed to the winter time. And the different kinds of roads that you're traveling on as well. So if you're doing estimates then this is a this is where you would actually uh, make the, those changes. Um, the other uh, change will be under the find tab and typically this says five down here and I'll and show how many uh, find places and uh, you're going to change that to 15 should be enough. And uh, if you press OK it saves the settings and you're uh, ready to rock and roll. There's one other thing that you might want to do, uh, and that's a go under the View tab, View in Google Earth, and if you do not have uh, Google Earth already installed, it will take you to the Google Earth website, the correct one, where you can download the free Google Earth to leverage back and forth between Map Source and Google. Very handy to have. And that is how we set up uh, Map Source for Patch Map.